Hi, I'm Maria Heath and I'm going to share with you a few thoughts on my own journey to becoming a missionary disciple. So the words mission and evangelisation are sometimes perceived negatively, like something really scary or something that's hard or maybe something that only those who like that sort of thing are going to do. But the truth is, mission holds the key to our deepest identity. It is a calling to love, to be loved and to share that love with others. In a document written at the Second Vatican Council, it says that the church is missionary in her very nature and that mission flows from the fountain-like love of God the Father. I want to begin with this image of a fountain because the water in a fountain is impelled out and that is exactly what happens with the love of God living in us. That life impels us outwards towards others in both word and action to draw them into the love of God. For me, I first had a deep realisation that God loved me when I was 19. Prior to this, I was a Catholic, but I thought it was all about trying to be good enough and somehow to earn God's love so you eventually make it to heaven. And while I believed in God, who was a very distant being to me, and I felt that I was more or less unlovable and worthless anyway. On this particular day, I was at a conference and I was listening to a lady give a talk. I remember hearing her say that Jesus died for me. So of course, I probably heard that Jesus died for me before, but it felt like I was hearing it for absolutely the first time. And I can't really explain what happened, but in the moments that followed, I knew God loved me, that Jesus had died on the cross for me so that I could be forgiven and healed. And that love I experienced transformed the way I saw God, the way I saw others, and also the way I saw myself. And I began to understand that Jesus is risen and alive and so close to me. And over the following months, I experienced the power of the Holy Spirit changing me, teaching me to pray, to read scripture. And I realized that not only does God love me completely and unconditionally, but that he has a plan for me. My priorities began to change because I wanted others to know about this amazing and transformative love that I had encountered. Like the water in a fountain being impelled outwards, so the love that I experienced was impelling me out of myself, my comfort zone, my narrow preoccupations, towards others. And the more I shared my faith, the more alive I felt. And Pope Francis affirms this when he says in um, his document, when the church summons Christians to take up the task of evangelization, she is simply pointing to the source of authentic personal fulfillment. For here we discover a profound law of reality, that life is attained and matures in the measure that it is offered up in order to give life to others. So mission holds the key to our deepest identity because we were made out of love for love. And sharing the love of God revealed in Jesus with those we may know or someone we may meet means that we are being and doing what we were made for. To be a disciple of Jesus means being a missionary disciple because we are called so that we too will share that life and enable others to hear the call of our loving Father. I pray for you as you watch this, that you'll come to a deeper knowledge of the depth of God's love for you, and that you will be ever more encouraged to respond to the call to share that life-changing love with others.